Okay, so using assembled shapes. Um, if you go to the vector tools over here, any of any of the things, any of the tools over here, if they have a little triangle underneath, that means there's more options. So if you click on it and hold, then these more options come up. So if this is the shapes tool. So if I click and hold on that, these are all the different shapes that I can like easily make. So if I choose a star. Uh, where is the star? Okay, I want a star. Um, and again, down here, there are options. So I may change the color first of all, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eye drop the green. Choose a star. Okay, so I've got the green. So if I just drag across the page, I've got myself a star. Cool. Um, now there are other options down here you can change again you can change the thickness of the outline of the green um, similar to with the freehand I'm fine with that and you can also use a gradient uh, which sort of blends two colors together and there's a few options What's this one? Hmm. Let's just go for that one, and you can choose how much of each color you want. So yeah, that's okay by me. So that's how you use assembled shapes. Um, you just grab them from the vector tool section, and you hold down, and then you get the options for the shapes, and just drag them on the page, and then you can edit them at the bottom.